Hi all, in this video I am sure you guys three ways to create a fusion composition in your DaVinci Resolve. I will share the pros of using each method and cons of using each method. So let's jump into these three ways. First way is the very simple and easy way. In your edit tab, just place your play ad on the clip that you want to open in Fusion and just a door to Fusion tab is going to open that clip on the Fusion tab. Or from Fusion tab, from the clip section, just select the clip and you can just do your Fusion effect on that clip. This is the most basic and easy way. So now some of the things related to creating a comb like this. First one is that your fusion comb resolution will not be timeline resolution. It will be the clips resolution. And the second thing is that the starting frame number of the fusion comb created by this method will not be zero. So the problem with this is that adding keyframe, copying keyframes, calculating the keyframe difference and all those sort of things will be a very difficult because of this random number and the second thing is that when you do a keyframe on an effect that keyframe is added to that particular frame number so when you are copying this effect to another fusion comb this frame number will be copied then you won't get the desired output that you like on this new comb so at the end only use this method to create a comb if you are doing very simple work and you won't be doing any keyframe related thing to the comp. So if you want to do effects related to keyframe then use the second or third method mentioned in this video to create a comp. And the third issue is that your fusion comp duration is limited to the clips duration. So if you are adding any time related effect to your fusion like time speed to slow down the footage then on the edit tab you can only eliminate the clip till the clip's duration so if you are slowing down the footage then you can't really enjoy the slow down footage on edit tab and the second way to create a fusion comb is to convert the clip to fusion clip that is on your timeline select the clip that you want to open to fusion a right click choose new fusion clip it will convert the clip to a fusion clip or a type of composite and you can open this fusion clip on your fusion tab and the thing to notice that if you select multiple clip and choose create new fusion clip it will create a fusion clip with all the footage inside that fusion clip and if you open this fusion clip on your fusion tab you can find that all are connected together to create a layer wise structure but the thing to notice that while creating fusion comb like this by adding multiple clip only the first clip on the track will be added to the fusion comb so if you want to add multiple footage to your fusion just keep each footage on a new track so that all these track will be imported to your fusion and the good thing about this method is that you can add multiple footage to your fusion comb very easily and it fixes both issues mentioned on the first method that is the fusion comb will start with a zero frame number so you can easily add the keyframe and all those effects Second is that the fusion resolution will be timeline resolution but it won't fix the third issue that i mentioned that is if you add a time stretch on your fusion clip and if you try to elongate the clip on your edit tab you can't elongate the clip more than the clip's duration inside this fusion clip so it won't fix the third issue so to fix the third issue you need to use the third method the third method is by far the most difficult method of opening or creating a new fusion comb on your DaVinci Resolve so for the third method on your timeline first add a new fusion adjustment layer after that open this fusion adjustment layer on your fusion tab then from inside this fusion you need to add the clip so in fusion add over to media pool then drag and drop the media that you want to add to the fusion comb then from the inspector tab of this media in use the trim option to trim the clip to the desired portion that you need and if you are finding it difficult to trim the clip from this media in then from the timeline add the clip that you want to add to fusion tab to the timeline and just open this clip on the fusion tab and from the left side you can find the frame numbers just copy those frame numbers and add over to your fusion composition and paste that frame number on the trim option the only issue that you are going to face with this third method is that the resolution of your fusion comb will be your media resolution 
it will not be timeline resolution you can simply fix this issue by following the guide over there so that's it that's the three ways that you can create fusion composition on your damage here is all i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe